Hey guys, what is up? It is Tech Tucker. After all this time, I am finally back. Uh, you know, just uh, taking about you know three, four years out maybe. But uh, I've decided I want to get back in the YouTube game. And one thing I can definitely do is talk about video games and collecting and stuff. I've been watching a lot of channels recently uh, that have just been a ton of fun to look at. So you know what? I'm gonna do my own game room tour, if you will. It's just a small office room that I use to work in uh, that happens to have the space to house my game collection. So you know what? I'm gonna take you through it today just talk about you know a few bits and pieces here see some of the collectibles and yeah that'll pretty much be what today's video is as i say expect uh, some more frequent uploads from me i'll talk more about collecting you know specific games and whatnot whatever it is you guys want to see i'm happy to talk about it if anyone even watches this video but without further ado let's get started
I also have this cupboard with loads of miscellaneous stuff. As you can see, collectibles, consoles in the bottom, uh, <laughs> that is meant to have controllers. I am in the midst of sorting this out. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's just boxes, figures. Uh, you can see under there, like Ring Fit Adventure, the Labo sets. Sonic figure boxes, Pokemon Advent Calendar, Vintage Mario Tibble, Crash Bandicoot Tote Bag, The Game of Crash 4, yeah. uh, Dance and Stage Mario Mix, Astral Chain Special Edition, Bravely Default, their second layer, I think it is, uh, Special Edition, um, Zelda Link's Awakening Remake Special Edition, Light Gun, Wolfenstein New Order, Occupational Edition, Dark Souls Summit Edition, Xenoblade Chronicles with a Red Controller, uh, red DS. It's not red. I'm a color boy. <laughs> it's a uh, turquoise. Turquoise DS Lite. Got a car boot sale for three pounds. I have a spare PS1 from the box that I bought at a car boot sale. Incredibly dirty, but cleaned up quite nice. Box Pet Friends X4, pink PS5 controller, a couple of CDs, a drawn tablet that there, we fit that there also. Talking again, clearance. You may be wondering what's with the low in the game over here. It is a sealed copy of Dead Rising 2. I do not want that copy of Dead Rising 2, but it was too cheap to pass up on and a controller. Yeah, pretty much the gist of this here. Hopefully I can get it sorted into the cupboard uh, in the hall. And here is just some miscellaneous stuff. That bag had, I got off a friend. Loads of games, a lot of them being merged into collections, some took to CEX. Uh, and that bag there is the spare PlayStation that I intend to sell. Here is the remains of my Blu-ray collection as I sold that. A resale box underneath with just some random miscellaneous stuff as well. And some boxes from the Nintendo store for the new set of Amiibo that came out. And a couple of special editions of games that I ended up buying from CEX because they were uh, same price as regular ones. So I'm just holding on to those until I decide what to do with them. And there you have it. So that's a quick room tour, if you will. Not too much one in this room. It is just primarily where I work. It's not a massive room or anything like that. But if you guys want to see any like, collection videos of complete things and whatnot, I'm happy to do so. If you want me to talk about experiences with games, you know, how I got some of it. By all means, just leave it in the comments. I'm happy to oblige and make the next video. Um, be on the lookout for more like collection updates, game pickups, and whatnot. It's just a way for me to document it so I remember what I've got. And hey, if I'm doing it anyways, may as well film it, right? But until next time, guys, take it easy. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, all that jazz. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.